Next up, as I said in that uh, introduction, is a member of the Public Accounts Committee, Sir Geoffrey uh, Clinton-Brown, who's the Tory Member of Parliament for the Cotswolds. He's also a former minister and, as I say, importantly, a member of the Public Accounts Committee. Uh, Geoffrey, great of you to join us. Uh, you are very welcome, as always. Claire, Tory councillor, former special adviser to Tory ministers, never felt gloomier and deeply worried for the prospects of her party and your party pulling this off and still being in government in two years' time. Do you share that gloom? So, Alistair, great to be with you this, this morning. I thought you might start there. Um, I've been a member of parliament for 30 years. The worst period for the Conservative Party, in my view, was that 92 parliament running from 92 to 97, because it was clear week in, week out, that we were just sinking, sinking, sinking. I think if we can get this statement, and it's going to be very, very difficult on the 17th of November, because hopefully this will put us onto a path of fiscal and monetary stability so that come the election, and this is the really important part uh, for any political party, the people of this country will see that we've done the right things, the responsible things, maybe the very difficult things, but actually as a result of that, things are now going to get better. And that is really, really important. What they want to see at the election is that the economy is in safe hands, which it won't be under Labour, that the immigration situation is sorted out, that they can walk safely on their streets. All of these things is what the British people are going to be looking for. And I'm very hopeful under Richie's stewardship that that's where we'll get to. You reference back to John Major's okay, government and, and, and the defeat to Tony Blair. But I just wonder if your party over that period of time has lost the Thatcherite will to take a seriously grown up, close look at public spending, take a knife to it and say this we cannot do at that scale. This we cannot do any more. Health service, benefits, welfare state. You've lost it. So you're dead right. You can't have low taxation without having a modest level of expenditure. If the Conservative Party wants to keep on with the same level of expenditure, it has to have a higher level of taxation. And that is just plain economic sense. Now, uh, Liz Truss tried the experiment of going too far in my mind, far too far the other way, with a huge range of tax cuts. The markets wouldn't wear it. We've had to pair that back to the, to the tune of 35 billion. And I think that is the right thing to do. What we'll now have to see is where the Chancellor needs to go. And I stress to you and your listeners, I don't know any of the inside information, so I can speculate and say what I like. But it's, it's a question of how much the Chancellor needs to raise in the forthcoming financial statement. And my guess is that he needs to raise between 30 and 40 billion. Wow. Um you will have seen the interview in the Times newspaper yesterday with, with, with Rishi Sunak, who you mentioned twice in, in, that, in that answer, Geoffrey. Would you, as a very experienced and senior Conservative, you're also Treasurer of the 1922 Committee that's been so busy recently electing <laughs> leaders and new leaders of the party, would you like to see Mr Sunak and perhaps Mr Hunt put some flesh on the bones of that claim that they and the state cannot do everything and have a really radical rethink in one or two areas between now and the general election? Well, the problem for us is that we've been through the pandemic and R Rishi Sunak, as the then Chancellor, quite rightly gave out a huge amount, £400 billion worth of taxpayers' money to save individuals uh, problems and to, critically to save jobs and to save businesses. And that is at the root of some of our problems now. Having spent that 400 billion, it does leave a huge black hole. And that is why we've got to start unpopularly putting things right now. So I think we did the right thing during the pandemic, but it did leave our finances in a fairly parlous state. Uh, Sir Geoffrey Clinton-Brown, great to talk to you. Uh, thanks for breaking into your Sunday to be with us here on GB News TV and Radio. Uh, best to you as ever, and see you soon, I hope. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Sir Geoffrey Clinton-Brown there, Conservative Member of Parliament for Cotswolds, former minister, uh, and importantly, uh, member of the Public Accounts Committee, uh, like Claire before uh, him, being very, very open and very, very honest. Uh,